I wanted to share this book with you that I've just got. Have you seen this one before? It's, it's hard to see because I can only see half of it. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. better. Yeah, so oh, yes. It yeah. is Felix Scheinberger, Urban Watercolour Sketching. And I absolutely love this book. It's a real bit not very good at doing this on camera of eye candy can you see this yeah I don't know where you yeah. can see it but what I like about it is it's not your old traditional watercolor book it's not going this is how you stretch paper this is how you know <laughs> it's like it's much more quirky he's he just shows these really wobbly lovely drawings and then he says how you don't have to go about putting um watercolour everywhere you could just put these little dots of watercolour in little splashes here and there and, and he draws people I wish I'd, I'd well, bookmarked a page but he draws people as though he's doing the like blind contours and he does actually mention in the book blind contours so I, I'm wondering that, if that kind of, one you've got up there on the, yeah, yeah that's it's brilliant a, it's like he incorporates part of that into the way he's drawn yeah. I just love that and there's a section in here that I absolutely loved about colour theory. Now, I know a tiny... I know you're really quite... You you know a lot on colour theory, don't you? Well, I, I am not... Yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Theory. <laughs> well, I, know I don't always little, follow it. <laughs> I know a little bit from college and yeah. obviously about complementary colours and stuff like that. But he talks about, instead of just um, looking at colours you see and obviously you could use a bit of colour theory in that, but he talks about trying out different color palettes so why not actually before you start pick a color palette so you might i can't remember what he calls it but it's like the numbers next to the complementary colors and you you might not know what they're called do you know what they're called no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but basically he's saying so before you start maybe pick out the colors you're doing from a color wheel and i actually bought this let me show you this hang on you're gonna see my belly for a minute hang on <laughs> <laughs> breathe in <laughs> right so I actually bought, can you see this? This oh, little okay. colour yeah, wheel. Yeah. And um, it was only a couple of quid, but at least you can kind of, you can move this around and see different colours and which which bits are which. And I've just done that. So I'm going to have a go, maybe even when we go to London next, yeah. just yeah. trying out some of the things he suggests and, you know, using his different colour palettes. But I would definitely suggest, if you're not, obviously if you want to do traditional watercolours, give this one a miss but if you want to do something a little bit different and do real urban sketching loose stuff definitely check that out so you know you wouldn't believe it but I just happen <laughs> <laughs> I just happen to have on my lap another book by the same guy and when you were talking about that book yeah we actually obviously realized that you were gonna um, talk about Felix is it Felix Schneisberger oh have I got it wrong I've, I thought it's Scheinberger oh Scheinberger yeah, Scheinberger. Sorry, it's me that's got it wrong. Yeah. And when you said you were going to talk about that book, I thought, oh, I've got one of his books as well. And it's called Dare to Sketch. And it's one of those books that is, like you say, it is eye candy. It's not um, taxing to look at. It's just a lo whole lot of fun. When you look at some of the sketches, let me turn it around. Maybe you can put some inserts at the top of this video, yeah. Tara, some of these pages. But um, let's go for like a... Can you see just how loose yeah. and confident he is? And nothing's really, you know, nothing's straight. I mean, look at that. I love that page. And that page, have you, I don't know if you read it. He say, so I'm going to give myself away now that I've You've also got, got it, that book. Absolutely. But so he I talks about West... Yours, <laughs> <laughs> which I got yesterday. <laughs> but, but he also talk, he talks about Westerns in that page you just showed and how... That's really good for um, if you want to study how to get a different shots, you know, different compositions. Westerns yeah. are really good. Yeah. He talks a bit about perspective and makes it easy um, to understand. Um, but I, overall, I just I just love the quirkiness of it. I mean, look at that. I just think it's so fun. Yeah. And, I, you know, often in my sketchbook, I, I create these little drawings of people. But there i'm trying to get the sketch to look like the person and be in proportion and all the rest of it and i remember tara when we went to london we went and we were in common garden we were trying to sketch the musicians weren't we yeah well wouldn't it have been fun instead of doing them as we saw them to do something like that completely yeah. out of proportion yeah. but just really quirky and and making 
I don't know, making it a bit more stylized, maybe. I don't fun. know. Make it more he's, fun, isn't it? As well. He definitely isn't afraid to uh, just play, really. So, yes, I would highly recommend this book to anyone who shies away from sketching because they're worried it won't be good enough. Because it just goes to show, actually, sometimes the ones that aren't correct, really, in any way, shape, or form, are actually the best. Yeah. So, I think we should try that next yeah, time we yeah. go. Yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah. I might start um, experimenting with this kind of style. I do yeah. like it. I do yeah. too, yeah. Anyway, so there's two books for you to, to, to yeah. go and order. Brilliant books. Go get them. <laughs> Why not check out our previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss your Art Kick Sunday. Meanwhile, you can check out our podcast and find the creative challenges we have coming up at www.kickinthecreatives.com. Back soon.